Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and Pokemo gets tons of new players every single day. So today I wanted to make a video on the top 5 things to do in Pokemo as a new player. My first recommendation to any new players playing Pokemo is to focus and finish the first region that you started, and finish as many region storylines as you can. The more regions you have completed, the more access you have to money makers, Pokemon farming spots, shiny hunting spots, catching and holiday events, and so on. Each new region opens up the game that much more, and if you want to know what regions to prioritize, I'll be leaving a link in the description of this video talking and covering about the best regions of Pokemon Mo and each pros and cons to each region. Alright, on to the second thing to do as a new player in Pokemon Mo. I heavily recommend getting an HM friend to help you traverse the overworld. I personally recommend Dragonite. Uh, I've had this Dragonite since 2013 personally, so he has been extremely useful to me for an extremely long time. If you want to get your own Dragonite, you can fish for him in the Kanto Safari Zone with the Super Rod right here. Or at Dragon Spiral Tower, north of Icarus City in Unova, is another great spot to fish for Dratini or Dragonair right here. And then finally, if you're in Sinnoh, starting from Heart Home City, you can actually head south, like in this clip, head south, and then west. We're going to head over to Mount Coronet, head through this bit of grass and dodge any encounters possible. Head up this staircase, south, west, over to the cave. Go inside the cave and then super rod right here and you can find Dratini. You can also simply buy a Dratini off the GTL if you do have 4 gym badges and access to the GTL. There will it'll only be around 2k Poke in, so it should be a pretty cheap free buy. Alright, and the third thing I recommend you doing as a new player is get yourself a catching Pokemon. A catching Pokemon is a Pokemon with False Swipe and Spore. False Swipe is a move that will not KO an enemy Pokemon. It will only knock it down to 1 HP, and then Spore is a 100% accuracy sleep move. These two moves in combination are going to give you the best chance at catching wild Pokemon. The best catching Pokemon are Smeargle and Breloom, but Parasect can be a really good budget option if you want one really quickly or during your storyline runs. Alright, now the fourth tip is going to be about early game money making. So, my fourth recommendation of things to do as a new player is going to be catching Magikarp or other Pokemon in the Safari to gain Poke in. Make some good early game money. This is one of the best early game money makers because most regions have a Safari zone. All of them actually have one besides Unova. You pay 500 Poke in for 30 Safari balls as opposed to 200 Poke in per Pokeball in the overworld. And catching any Pokemon with a 31 IV is always going to mean profit. And understanding how to sell Pokemon can get a little complicated, so I will be leaving links in the description of this video on how to sell and value your Pokemon properly alongside two videos covering the process of farming Magikarp as a moneymaker in the Safari Zone. Alright, and on to tip number 5. Start working on forming a gym run team as soon as possible. Gym rebattles are the best and most consistent money in the entire game. Once you complete your team, start doing gym runs and the game will change a ton. It'll open up and everything will feel much, much easier. If you want an in-depth guide on gym rebattling and the best team for it, I'll be leaving a link in the description of this video on my complete guide to gym reruns. Alright, but that's it for this video. I spent a long time writing the script and making this video as condensed as possible, but still chock full of information. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and like the video, and consider subscribing to stay up to date with tons of Pokemon information. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, check out the description for tons of links, uh, videos, and content to come. Also consider becoming a YouTube member to be for 5 bucks a month. And thank you so much to all of my YouTube current members. Thank you guys again. Hope this video was helpful. Have a great day. Best of luck from Petrowski.